So I'm going to talk a little bit about finance uh, and this pandemic, some thoughts on what to do, uh, how to uh, make the, the most out of a, a bad situation, and also start thinking about recovery. So, you know, th this was an unprecedented financial uh, collapse and economic damage done worldwide. And, you know, it's, it's really impossible to close the economy for months without a plan to finance it. And the big thing here is a, a liquidity panic that can progress to a solvency crash. So, you know, again, we're all struggling with the concept of how to stay in business. And tonight, you know, I think we went over a lot of things. Uh, you know, the big question here is where to find cash and also how to recover out of this thing. Well, you know, uh, look, the damage is, is being done and it's unfolding as we, uh, we talk. So, you know, again, part of this here is to focus in on stuff that you can control uh, in your financial world personally and professionally. And, you know, this affords us a great opportunity to maintain our businesses, continue and move forward and do this with responsibility as we've talked about, simply because, you know, again, we need to communicate with our patients, not be out marketing aesthetic surgery right now. Uh, first, you know, get your financial stuff in order. You know, make a personal financial statement if you don't have one. See how much cash you have on hand, what assets and what liabilities you have in your practice and also professionally. And also realize there are a lot of things that you can't control. But you know, again, Chicken Little was right, the sky was falling. What about staying liquid? You know, uh, plastic sur uh, aesthetic surgery practices are unique because of limited accounts receivable. But you know, again, if you do have accounts receivable from let's say insurance company, breast reductions, things like that, work these accounts so that uh, you will be paid. The other concept here is plug revenue leaks. Uh, revenue leaks are stuff like service contracts on uh, equipment, uh, things of this nature, recurring costs, laundry, things that you outsource that you need to stop. And the big thing here is trying to avoid bankruptcy. And, and you know, uh, some of the vendors will give you for, uh, forgiveness on, on when you have to pay certain amounts of uh, accounts payable, things of this nature, but you have to work it both in terms of loans, mortgages, uh, rent, all this kind of stuff. And so, you know, again, you can negotiate with your vendors, uh, credit cards, all that stuff, but debt is still debt and you gotta pay it. You know, for everybody, you know, again, the IRS filing extension uh, now is July 15th. So this is wonderful. It, it gives you available money uh, for now uh, that can be useful to maintain your practice. But you know, taxes must be paid. Well, what about a business plan? You know, it's good to reassess your business plan, see what services you, you can offer during the recovery. What is the cost of doing businesses, resources, personnel, and, and what is the revenue that you need to stay afloat? And so, you know, again, uh, what is the little engine that could? Well, it's off of the also uh, uh, injectables, non-invasive, your spa. And I think, you know, for all of us that do have the luxury of office-based surgery, we do have the cost advantage uh, over the ASC. So, you know, again, these are all ways to keep the cash flowing, staying liquid uh, and avoiding, uh, you know, bankruptcy, things of this nature. What about cost cutting? Uh, the fellow on the left here is Chainsaw Al Dunlap, uh, who was a, a CEO of Sunbeam and was notorious for slashing costs uh, in uh, the Sunbeam business unit. Uh, you know, I think, you know, we need to invoke his thoughts here with regards to a careful analysis, to determine what is profitable and not. You know, again, plugging revenue leaks, service contracts, uh, the comment that Renee made about uh, not contributing to pension plans, things of this nature. Uh, you know, this is all useful. You know, uh, the cost of borrowing money is at an all time low. And so, you know, it's time to refinance your debt, both uh, in the office and at home. And, you know, it's a mad rush for refinancing right now, but, you know, there's plenty of time to get your debt uh, refinanced uh, and, perhaps save a lot of money there. 
The other thing here is, you know, negotiate with suppliers, know what supplies cost. And, uh, you know, we have kind of a supply sergeant in our office that's on the web all the time looking at what's the best price for various uh, goods that we buy. And as we've talked about, uh, you know, avoid corporate anorexia where you don't have enough staff to get the work done. You need to hold on to employees so that you can provide services, uh, they can order supplies. And the other thing here is, you know, start thinking about recovery. And I say that because, you know, there's this big backlog of patients that want things done and you're gonna have to extend your hours and you better have enough people around to provide the services. What about recovery planning? Well, I, I look at this as a, a tremendous leadership opportunity to lead your team into the future. And, you know, this is the best investment there is, which is yourself and your practice. And it's an opportunity to get your business fine-tuned, prioritize things that you can eliminate, and at the same time, are there things that you can add? And, you know, the goal of all this is to get the cost advantage so that you can provide services at a lower cost uh, for your patients. And so, you know, this is a culture of innovation and, uh, you know, everyone in the office has a role in recovery and, you know, it's helping your employees get over the shock of, oh my God, this is happening to us to, hey, we're survivors. We're going to get out of this better and stronger. And one thing I, I, I find very useful in my office is the aesthetic neural network, uh, through ASAPs, which, uh, uh, has uh, key performance indicators and stuff like this is really helpful because it gives us all advanced financial analysis tools that otherwise you'd be spending hours or days trying to write the code on an Excel spreadsheet. So, you know, stuff like uh, uh, Anne or some of the other ones that are out there are really useful in terms of looking at your profitability uh, and also how well you're doing uh, year to date. And again, the book is, is going to be totally rewritten starting from now forward uh, during the recovery time. But I, I see this as a great opportunity. What about your financial future? Well, you know, involve your spouse, your significant other in helping manage your finances, both uh, at home and in the office. And, you know, again, all this stuff has to continue with regards to your retirement plan. If you have young children, college savings. But, you know, assemble a team of advisors, your attorney, your accountant, your banker. And, you know, as, as, as I've said many times in our teaching courses, no one watches your money better than your life partner. So, you know, again, being congruent with what you do in the office and what you do uh, at home is really helpful here. I think the other sobering reality is all of us are going to be working longer in life. And, you know, remaining working uh, affords us the best financial opportunity and it can refill your retirement plan until the market recovers. Now, what about recovery? I, you know, I'm optimistic. I think we're going to recover out of this, but scars will remain. And, you know, again, this is going to take a totally different model. And you heard Renee talking about this a little bit uh, tonight. You know, the goal of all this is to keep people working, keep people employed versus the redistribution recession of 2008, where uh, uh, workers were encouraged to go on unemployment. And then it became really hard to get them employed again as we move forward. It took many, many years for that to happen. So the best thing we can do to help recovery is to keep people employed. And uh, I think that's gonna be the plan coming out of uh, Washington for the future. The other thing here is, you know, there is some benefit in returning to insured cases to backfill your aesthetic procedure income. So there's lots of opportunity here for you uh, to reconnect with patients, uh, reconnect with your community, and to involve yourself in all these opportunities. So thank you very much for this opportunity to talk about finance and uh, money and all that stuff. Thanks, Mark. Um, two things I want to point out that the Aesthetic Society uh, is contacting all the vendors and our, our partners, uh, Premier Partners and each of the other group who've been supportive of education in our meetings to talk about uh, extending payment rather than from 30 days or 60 days to a much longer period of time, knowing that our members, uh, uh, some, many will uh, not be working for a while, 
or have their office closed. So I think that's great uh, that the Aesthetic Society is doing that. The second thing is that when things ramp back up, hospitals and ASCs may not be very receptive to taking some of these cases for a while because of their, their finances, their personnel. Um, so there may be an opportunity in office-based surgery to increase uh, volume, but there are some facilities that may be a level A or a level B uh, in, under quad A that may want to ramp up to doing general anesthesia and be a level C. Um, I know that quad A is inundated with a lot of things. Their, their staff is working from home also. So it may take a time to get that accomplished and to be inspected to do that. So if you're thinking of doing that, that might be something that you start uh, working on now. Yeah, I think that's an excellent point because, you know, again, the, the opportunity here uh, is, yeah, I think, in office-based surgery, but to do it properly. And, you know, again, this is one of the little engines that can, that will allow you to have uh, the ability to probably get back into the game quicker uh, than depending on a, a, a hospital or an ASC.